Hi everybody, and we are at the Florence Biennale, and I am so honored and so happy to present to you artist Leca Araujo. I got that right. <laughs> she's from Brazil, and she's presenting this amazing series that we have behind me, but I'm going to leave the artist the mic because, Leca, I really want you to, to tell everybody the story that we were talking about. Okay, so this is a collection I called As Marias. This is, it's inspired by the Brazilian women because uh, according to um, a famous Brazilian soap opera writer, the typical Brazilian woman is black, housemaid, and is named Maria. And we have enough Marias in Brazil to really give reason for that. We have around 11 million 700,000 Marias in Brazil. And we, we are 54% black, and um, we have a lot of uh, uh, housemaids in Brazil. It doesn't mean that the three things together really brings the stereotype of a Brazilian woman, but I, I think it's a funny affirmation that I would like to start with. So what I did is to try to bring uh, uh, some icons, some Brazilian icons, and um, profiles uh, of women in Brazil. So this one um, is called Maria da Penha and is inspired in a warrior woman, is still alive, thanks God, uh, who survived two tentative of murder of her husband. So uh, her husband tried to kill her twice, basically. Uh, first uh, with a shot in the spine and after uh, he tried to electrocute her. Right. Yeah, so fortunately she survived. And after 16 years later, uh, Brazil uh, brought a law uh, to really uh, reduce the violence at home. And the name of this law is Maria da Penha. So this is why I bring all these electric plugs. It's a very sad story, but with a good cost, I would say. And here I bring Maria del Sol with a Spanish name. It's in honor to our uh, neighbors because uh, differently from the European countries, our heritage doesn't come, our characterism, I'm sorry, doesn't come from our heritage. It comes from a melting pot because we, we had many immigrants um, since our independence. And so I would like to make honor to all these neighbors and people not only from the Latin America but outside of Brazil that came to our country to make it more beautiful. And this is with a 22 meter of uh, copper cables. And this is Maria das Dores. Maria das Dores is a very common name in Brazil. Normally, the old people used to give this name to their children with the idea of that one that suffer for a good cause, this kind of things. So it's a very common name since we are 65% Catholic. Uh, to name streets, so we have around 230 streets named Maria das Dores in Brazil. So this, this collection is to show exactly uh, some, something about our country, but also to, uh, to show 
uh, the equal but different. This is why I like to use the black and black to show the, the similarity but also the difference because we have um, equal similar issues or problem with um, different particularities, uh, similar feelings but different intensities and so on. So this is the concept behind this. Now, we were talking about, and, and I think it was really interesting to hear you say that we are so environmentally friendly lately and we're so worried about that, but what happens to humanity? Can you share with, with the public that information? Yeah, but what, I, what I said is that everybody has their houses today very green, thinking about ecology, but people are killing each other. So... <laughs> We are ecologically balanced, but when we talk about human, there is no balance at all. So I would like to bring this new concept of, of pro-life art that should uh, bring the two things together. The ecology piece with the human piece, you know, the two things together. This is the idea. That's why I bring the, this message behind the artworks, not only the recycled materials. And well, let's talk to let's talk about you as an artist. When did you discover you were an artist? When did you get the idea and decided, okay, this is what I want, or was it always there? Well, I was born in a family of architects, designers, so I started doing art when I was ten. However, in that time, I was told that it would not bring me money, <laughs> so I had to study IT instead. Um. <laughs> So I still have an IT side, but my heart is right here in the middle of art, yeah. So I see the IT influence. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the IT is right here with yeah. the plugs and the cables, that's it. <laughs> so, well, let's, let's talk about plans. What plans do you have for next year? Are you planning on a new series? Share with us. Well, yes, I do have, I, I'm already working in another series that is called Le Jardin, that intends to, aims to bring us the reflection about the time we spent in front of any kind of media, magazines, TV, Facebook, whatever, instead of really spending time of quality with um, nature and um, our family and this kind of things. But I will continue working in parallel with Las Marias because this is, a, I would say, a traveling show. I started in, in Switzerland, then in Berlin, and I passed through Alemania, uh, Germany, um, uh, po Portugal, um, uh, Barcelona, and uh, Basel and other places in Switzerland, and now I'm going in Paris also. This one received, it was awarded in a art fair, Carrousel du Louvre. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm in a, in a gallery named Eclectic Art. And, um, and in November, the Marias, not only these three, but the entire collection will be in Vienna for a solo exhibition and then we will end up the year in Rio de Janeiro in December, yeah. Is there any, well I imagine there's many Marias that you love, yes. but is there a few specific that you would like to share with us? Because anyway we'll share the images, so yeah. can you talk to about the other ones that are not here, some of them? Yeah. Unfortunately I could not bring everything, but there's one specifically that I really love because um, I love mosaics. So this is a kind of mosaic of cables, but I have one that is named Maria Teresa. Yeah, Maria Teresa was the, the uh, wife of Dom Pedro um, II, uh, was the emperor of Brazil. And she was the first mosaicist in Brazil. So I made her hair, I like this black power, I love this made of uh, uh, stones and tiles and it's a very beautiful one. I love Paraguaçu. Paraguaçu is considered, it's, um, it's a native from Brazil, but she's considered the mother of many, the, the biological mother of many Brazilians. 
because our base is the our natives mixed with all the immigrants. Right. Yeah, I think those are, and we I have Maria Zuzu that I love very much. He's um, a designer called Zuzu Angel from Rio de Janeiro, and and she was killed during the dictature. I think this is how we say. Sorry about my English. See, <laughs> the, yeah. yeah, exactly. So, and I created her hair with some things, uh, fabrics and buttons, and um, because she was a designer, and she started bringing a lot of message in her designer, in her uh, fashion stuff uh, about this dictatorship. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Well, if um, if anyone is in Brazil and wants to go see you because this this show is also they can you can also see it in Brazil on live stream on MNN actually and where can they go in Brazil to see your work okay so in Brazil it's going to be in December in Rio de Janeiro in uh, Ibeu gallery it's in, um, uh, in a neighborhood called Jardim Botânico in Maria Angélica street so there is a gallery of the Ibeo is a Brazilian uh, United States Institute and they have a gallery over there. There will be a solo exhibition in the 14th of December. All right. Thank you so much. Congratulations. The works are amazing. So I thank you and thank you for this time, for this moment and for allowing us to present your works in the city. And we hope you come to New York City and visit us. Okay, I will. Definitely I should. Okay. One day I'm going to be there with my Marias or any other collection. Yes, you are. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for watching.